I'd like to make a brief addendum to my previous video. Uh, and as per usual, I mix up the dagger and cloak for the final provocation, so I wanted to uh, make the distinction here. So with sword and dagger, uh, I'm still going to do the punti falso, so I'm going to snap over top with that right foot step, and then cut to the leg, or I'm going to step a bit short, get a faint estravazone, and then cut to the leg or the head instead, so a four or a six. So I'm going to snap over top, cut low, or snap over top, cut high, and then get out of there. The responses remain the same, so if we are dealing with this initially, we're going to use a dagger to parry, as they go low, strike with the thrust, so we defend, they go low, strike to the side. If they go for the faint and go high, we'll use entry. If they use the faint and go low, we'll defend with the redopio and then strike with the imbrocato. So in all cases, we are getting this in the way. Against the high line. Against the low line. Now with cloak, the option here is to do the punta reverso. So again, from the top we have puntin falso. We can strike low, or if we start a little bit out of distance, this allows us to step to their right and thrust to the thrust to the chest. The defenses remain the same as I showed before, so we're going to use the cloak to defend, they come low, we'll defend, trade engagement, strike the leg, or defend, they go to thrust to our side, we guide them to our outside, and strike to the head. So there we have those two, it's a stramazzone feint. Dagger, it is a punta reversa with the cloak.